praying for other body in other places what God is doing and the Lord really called me in 1975 I became born again Christian you know well I don't think you heard my testimony no. but the Lord he called me before I I was saved I started to preach uh, and, and I came one night and, and it was a Baptist church and, and it was a youth group in Chicago and I was trying to tell you about how I was uh, looking for the body of Christ mm -hmm. so I was almost one year and it was a turn every youth one Friday to preach and I never think that he will tell me because I was always in the door and trying to run mm -hmm. but he said next week it will be Bell Neeson to be preached for us and uh, I just was scared to death and I couldn't know what I want to do. You know, I run. The pastor run after me. He said, well, you know, he just, by his sweetness, and he brought me again back and he said, well, you know, you just share something, read it, nothing. But I look for the yes. You. And I start to read the Bible, and, you know, look for the Bible. I don't have Bible and look for the Bible, brought in Aramaic <laughs> and reading in three languages. And I said, Lord, what I want to do? And it's so hard. Oh. But the Lord, he just first time and nailed down as so I can be helped with them. And then came Friday night, I started preaching. And the man, he said, God is calling you to the ministry. I said, no, don't do, don't say that. I, I, I'm not. I never want to go. You know, I don't want to leave the party, another thing. But the Lord, he really called me. And I was uh, in one uh, Assembly of God uh, church uh, sitting in Chicago suburb. And I hear the Lord spoke to me clearly by his voice. And, and uh, that day I was safe and completely transferred to, to the kingdom of God. And I was three days and three nights. I couldn't eat, I couldn't drink, I couldn't I, anything. So now I was just, and I went to work and they say, what happened to you? Something changed, your face, your, your, your being, and just something. And I say, I, I was afraid to tell my testimony, but day by day and the people, they start and see that I was completely changed. The Lord changed my life and I started preaching Clark and Foster in Chicago and tell the Syrian, turn him back to the Lord, you know, and uh, from there, so the Lord has started calling me, and uh, we have now church in Van Nuys, church, yes. Syrian Church of Nineveh, and I preach in and, uh, Where different can places. people come hear you? Yes, and they can come, and sometimes we have in English, but I preach in Aramaic language at the same time. This is in and the Church on the Way. A church on the Way, building. yes, in West, West Camp. And we have um, our own church now in, in Panorama City. Panorama the, City. Yes. I'm, I'm translating for all you <laughs> Southerners. <laughs> okay. Praise the Lord. And so, here on Sunday night. And Sunday night, I am here in, in West the same Lake time, Westlake Village, West Lake Village uh, with uh, Pastor Winston and Pastor Wally. And we are doing good things for the Lord. I believe the Lord is being pleased. Uh, just pray for us. We pray for you and come to the church and I believe the Lord will be blessed you. Thank you so much. I have to ask you, what do you see the Holy Spirit doing this year? That oh. is the question I always nail everybody with. <laughs> yes, I, I just see him this year and just uh, before New Year and I'm asking Lord, uh, more of you this year than any time in our life and I see that. We see things in New Year, and, and, and you was with us, and, and, Amen. and first Sunday of the New Year we have in the church, and the power of God is moving. We, are, we see the power of God more than any time. There is nothing, you know, many people, they have depression, they say, well, we don't know what happened to our church or our family, but I say, this year is the year of the Lord. Hallelujah. It has nothing to do with this media and other to say, what Bible did you say to us? This is the, the year of the Lord. And God is called us to be, to be preached, to be delivered people from darkness, and stay in frame. And in God, He will be stare that gift in you and preach Christ and say, Lord, use me to your glory. And, and, and I believe the Lord is poor in His Spirit. And, and today and, and ever, you never give place for Satan. Because he's a liar, he's a thief, he's trying to thief and steal things of the Lord from your life. But stay and say, Satan, you can't do that. And I am the Lord, and I can cast you out from the life of other people. And be in cheer, be in, and happy, because there is not worthy to, to be really sometime and, and just thinking. If we think the world where they are, no one can be preached. If Christ was in Jerusalem and thinking what will happen 70 years, he prophesied for Jerusalem, he can quit. But he went ahead because God, he called them in his mission to fulfill. God, he called you for your mission and oh, do it. Yes. Don't stop in the name of Jesus. You pastor, yes. you evangelist, you, yes. you preacher, you prophet, you're yes. the one in the church. Do things for the Lord. And the Lord is good. He's oh. coming. He will bless the church. 
He will be triumphant. This earth is waiting for us, not for Antichrist, for us to be completely take over the world. And I believe as day is coming, we will see millions of the people come to Christ in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I feel I want to preach, man.